Fate comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. You're listening to The Moment of Power with Azano Eddie Thompson. Daily audio devotions to energize your day presented by the Advent Hero Ministries. Our moment of power topic today is love and law. If you love me, keep my commandments. John chapter 14 verse 15. That is Jesus himself speaking. He ties love to law. In other words, love and law are both sides of the same coin. They are like Siamese twins or co-joined twins to be precise. They cannot be separated. You cannot separate law from love without destroying each. So the only way we can really show that we love God is to keep his commandments and that's how we begin to actually come to know him if we really say we know god then we have to keep his commandments all of his commandments and that's what john meant in first john chapter 2 verses 3 and 4 he said quote and hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments he that saith I know him and keep it not his commandments. He's a liar and the truth is not in him. End of quote. In other words, to know God is to love him and to love him is to keep his commandments. John makes it plainer if we actually read 1 John chapter 5. 1 John chapter 5 and we read verse 3. He says, quote, For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not grievous. End of quote. In fact, the only way to show that we love God and love our neighbors as ourselves is actually to keep the commandments of God. And and Jesus said the motive for keeping the commandments is love. If I love my neighbor, if I love my friend, if I love my brother or my sister, I will keep the commandments of God. John writes in 1 John 5 verse 2, Quote, by this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and keep his commandments. End of quote. I want to read something from the writings of Paul quickly. And he's saying actually the same thing. Romans chapter 13 verses 8 to 10. Quote, O no man anything but to love one another for he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. For this thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, thou shalt not covet. And if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in the same, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Love walketh no ill to his neighbor, therefore love is the fulfilling of the law. End of quote. Do you see how Paul also tells us that love and law are actually the same thing? I mean, God's law. God's. So we can make reference to the, to the commandment of God and say they are commandments of love. Or we can say God's law of love. Will you open your heart today to God's law of love? And he says, he that loveth hath fulfilled the law. And so if a preacher is saying, We don't need the law. All we need is love. That preacher doesn't know exactly what he's saying. He's a confused person. But for you today, would you open your heart? God tells us in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 8, that he will write his law in our hearts. Will you open your heart today so that the Spirit of God will write God's law of love in your heart? so that you will begin to love God and love the children of God and keep the commandments of God. This is true love. Our Father in heaven, we just give you glory. Thank you for your word. Thank you for the understanding. Thank you for the grace. Lord, because of our fallen nature, because of our sinful nature, we hardly know what love is. But through the agency of the Holy Spirit, you are pouring your love in our hearts. You are touching us like never before. So we pray that you will pour your love into our hearts and we will begin to love 
first and foremost to love you supremely and to love our, our neighbors as ourselves. Let this be our experience, even as it is our prayer today. We have prayed in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you.